in today's class let us try to learn about clindamycin clindamycin is a very important antibiotic among all other antibiotics clindamycin is one of the antibiotic so in today's class let us try to learn some basic points important points what are all the points that are required for the examination as well as to remember in the hospitals to evaluate cases we will try to discuss about clindamycin in detail first of all clindamycin has three formulations clindamycin is available in topical gel which is mainly used clindamycin topical gel is mainly used for acne vulgaris it is mainly used for acne vulgaris and this is first form second form of clindamycin is it is available as capsules through oral route so through oral route it is used for many systemic infections particularly it is used for all gram positive bacteria and also for gram positive bacteria which is infected with git infections ga tract related infections clindamycin is most commonly used and the third form it is available in iv form injection form so it can be used through deep im route and also through iv infusion so these are three forms it is available in topical gel it is available as oral capsule and it is also available through iv form so these are three formulations that are available uh, with clindamycin now let us see some basic things first of all what is clindamycin as i have discussed clindamycin is an antibiotic antibiotic see we need to understand the difference between antimicrobial agent and antibiotic antimicrobial agent antimicrobial agents are those agents which will inhibit or destroy or kill the bacteria these antimicrobial agents may be synthesized from the laboratory or they may be obtained from other sources so in antimicrobial agents best example we can we can tell as sulfonamides sulfonamides are considered as antimicrobial agents which are synthesized in the laboratory whereas specifically with antibiotic antibiotic definition is different with antimicrobial agent antibiotics are those substances which are obtained from other microorganisms antibiotics are chemical constituents which are obtained from other microbes they are obtained from microbes to inhibit or kill microorganisms especially bacteria the chemical agents which are obtained from microorganisms to kill bacteria or to inhibit the growth of bacteria they are called antibiotics so this is the definition of antibiotic and antimicrobial agent all antibiotics antimicrobial agents can be considered as antibacterials okay all antibacterials are not antibiotics now clindamycin is an antibiotic it is it is an antibiotic which comes from the class of lincosamides so we have so many classes of antibiotics starting from penicillin cephalosporin monobactams carbapenems imipenems we have tetracyclines we have macrolide antibiotics all these are classes of antibiotics in those different classes lincosamide is one class of antibiotic so in lincosamide class of antibiotics we have certain examples in in lincosamide antibiotics we have lincomycin clindamycin and pirlimycin these three are the examples of lincosamides and in these three examples the most effective and most active most effective more good bioavailability bioavailability among these three are among these three clindamycin has good active form its bioavailability is good its it is very stable okay than lincomycin so in these three clindamycin is most commonly used because of its superior properties clindamycin has certain superior properties clindamycin is effectively used in hospitals not lincomycin however both lincomycin and clindamycin has uh, uh, same efficacy but with respect to bioavailability clindamycin is superior next so as we discussed that clindamycin is an antibiotic so antibiotic must be obtained from some other microorganisms so clindamycin is obtained from streptomyces incolensis 
Streptomyces lincolensis is the bacteria. From this bacteria, clindamycin is obtained. So this is the bacteria through from this bacteria, the clindamycin is obtained. As I already discussed, there are different uh, antibiotics which are obtained from different different microorganisms. Let me give you some examples. Here, bacitracin is antibiotic which is obtained from Bacillus subtilis. Polymyxin is antibiotic which is obtained from Bacillus polymyxa. Amphotericin B antibiotic. Amphotericin B antibiotic is the antifungal antibiotic, broad spectrum antifungal antibiotic. This amphotericin B is obtained from Streptomyces nodosus. And chloramphenicol, another broad spectrum antibiotic. Chloramphenicol is obtained from Streptomyces venezula. About this amphotericin B chloramphenicol tetracycline we have discussed in previous classes. Here one point I would like to tell you about chloramphenicol. Chloramphenicol is a broad spectrum antibiotic. Despite of its broad spectrum activity, chloramphenicol is not commonly used in hospitals because of its few lethal adverse effects like grey baby syndrome and it is very lethal. It has lethal adverse effects. And here tetracyclines, another broad spectrum antibiotic. Remember chloramphenicol and tetracycline, these both are broad spectrum antibiotics. So tetracycline is obtained from Streptomyces aerophasians. And there is another uh, macrolide antibiotic, erythromycin. Erythromycin is obtained from Streptomyces erythrus. So erythromycin has few unstable uh, properties because of that few uh, other macrolides like from erythromycin few uh, stable forms were uh, semi-synthesized like azithromycin. Azithromycin. Azithromycin is very effective macrolide antibiotic which is semi-synthesized from erythromycin or from this Streptomyces erythrus. And uh, Stepto, streptomycin is another uh, antibiotic obtained from streptomyces graces. Gentamycin is uh, aminoglycoside antibiotic which is obtained from micromonospora purpurea. Cephalothin is obtained from cephalosporium species. Graciofalvin is another antifungal agent which is obtained from penicillin graciofalvin. And penicillin, penicillin very 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 effective antibiotic we can say good antibiotic and the first antibiotic we can say and very safer antibiotics you can say so penicillin's discovery of penicillin created lot of changes in the medical field so penicillin is obtained from penicillin rotatum so these are different antibiotics which are obtained from different microorganisms as these all compounds are obtained from other microorganisms they are called antibiotics okay now uh, as we have discussed few points about clindamycin it is uh, an antibiotic from the class of linko linkosamides and is obtained from streptomyces lincolensis. Here one thing you have to remember, clindamycin, clindamycin is 7 chloro 7 deoxy derivative of lincomycin. So lincomycin is the natural form. Lincomycin is certain functional groups are changed. I mean in the lincomycin, on the seventh position, chlorine is added and oxygen is removed. That forms clindamycin. So this is the structure of lincomycin. Lincomycin on the seventh position here, on the seventh position somewhere here, chlorine is added and oxygen is removed. So, removal of oxygen and addition of chlorine makes lincomycin into clindamycin. And this clindamycin is most effective and it is active, okay, most active form and its bioavailability is also very good. When, when lincomycin is taken along with food, lincomycin bioavailability will be decreased. It will be affected, I mean food will be affected in bioavailability of lincomycin. Whereas clindamycin, clindamycin, if clindamycin is taken along with food, there is no effect in the bioavailability. So food, food will not affect the bioavailability of clindamycin because of its stable uh, activity. So clindamycin, that's why it is commonly used in the hospital. Mechanism of action of clindamycin or lincosamides clindamycin or lincosamine. Clindamycin, it has same action like macrolide antibiotic. In previous classes, we have discussed about macrolides. Macrolide antibiotics, what they do? Macrolide antibiotics will inhibit the synthesis of proteins in the bacteria by binding the 50S ribosome, 50S ribosomal subunit. And through that, what it does? It shows bacterio, bacteriostatic property. In the same way, like macrolides, clindamycin also inhibits protein synthesis in the bacteria. Clindamycin inhibits protein synthesis in the bacteria through binding on the 50S ribosome subunit. 
clindamycin binds on the UTS ribosome subunit of the bacteria and through that it stops the protein synthesis and through that it shows bacteriostatic property. In normal doses or in low doses it causes bacteriostatic property but in higher doses, in higher doses clindamycin also shows bactericidal property, okay, bactericidal property. So this is the mechanism of clindamycin. Sometimes when clindamycin, when clindamycin is used with macrolid antibiotics, it may cause cross resistance, cross resistance. This is very, very important point. If bacteria develop resistance with clindamycin, macrolid antibiotic also can be, uh, uh, macrolid antibiotic resistance also can be seen because clindamycin and macrolid antibiotics are resembling their chemical structure. They are having same chemical structure and same mechanism of action. As we have already discussed, clindamycin is a antibiotic which is obtained from other microorganism. It has antibacterial property. Clindamycin mainly acts on gram positive bacteria. Very, very important point. It acts on gram positive bacteria, especially cocci, gram positive cocci. Along with that, clindamycin also acts on anaerobic bacteria, anaerobic bacteroids anaerobic bacteroids, fragilis, it acts on the uh, pneumocytes, zero AC, it is one of the bacteria and it is also very effective on Toxoplasma gondii. Okay, this is a, uh, a bacterioid or it is a type of uh, parasite. We can say it is a, uh, yeah, we can say it a protozoa, protozoa. So, in anaerobic infections, positive bacterial infections, bacterioids, protozoa, GA related uh, anaerobic infections, clindamycin is very effective. Along with that, they are also effective on some other uh, protozoa. So they have good activity on protozoa also. If you see the pharmacokinetics of clindamycin, clindamycin as we have three forms. If clindamycin is taken through oral route, it it is very well absorbed from the GA tract. Clindamycin has particularly it is absorbed from GA tract and it is distributed in most of the parts of the body. Here it is very important to remember clindamycin, clindamycin penetrates into bones. Very, very important point. Due to its high penetration power into the bones, clindamycin is very, very commonly used for osteomyelitis. Osteomyelitis is the bone infection, bone infection. So in the bones, if infection is occurring, clindamycin is the good choice in osteomyelitis because clindamycin is having good bone penetrating property. Okay, uh, uh, it is metabolized uh, and here one point, it is highly soluble in water, soluble in water. Some parts of the a few clindamycin drugs are metabolized in liver and excreted through urine. This is uh, important points you have to remember about pharmacokinetics of clindamycin. And this is oral form and IV is also same. It, when it is given through IV route, rapidly it is uh, absor absorbed from the site of injection and it distributes to all parts of the body and it has a uh, good bone penetration pro property. And topically it is used in acne vulgaris, acne vulgaris, okay. So these are a few important points about kinetics of clindamycin as I have already discussed it is available as injection form, IV form, parent, we call it parental. It is available in capsule form and it is also available in topical gel form, topical gel. So clindamycin alone can be also used and it is also can be uh, used in combination with nicotinamide or allantoin uh, for uh, acne vulgaris conditions, other bacterial infections on the topical tissues okay so these are different formulations we have already seen uh, today uh, uh, mainly clindamycin is used for gi related anaerobic infections anaerobic infections however uh, we have metronidazole and few cephalosporins so Metrodazole and cephalosporins are very good effective drugs and very safer drugs. So 
metrodazole and cephalosporin are already available because of these safer drugs however uh, this clindamycin is not commonly used it can be used in gat anaerobic infections but we have other safer agents also if patient is not tolerating metronidazole or wherever cephalosporin or metronidazole contraindication is seen in that cases clindamycin is drug of choice and in in most uh, bone related infections or in uh, osteomyelitis clindamycin is the drug of choice that you have to remember let us see the specific uses first as i was explaining you it is used as anaerobic infection infection agent and it is used in patients who are suffering with aids in those patients. in aids patients it is used for p0 vc pneumonia and uh, it is also used uh, along with primaquine for uh, toxoplasmosis in combination with uh, pyrimethamine okay the specific uh, uses and as it is already discussed very famous uh, indication for clindamycin is acne vulgaris acne vulgaris is the famous indication and one more thing uh, clindamycin is also having good role in prophylaxis of endocarditis along with mac macro antibiotics in previous class we have discussed azithromycin penicillin cephalosporins or good drugs as uh, prophylaxis in endocarditis so along with this clindamycin is also can be used as prophylactic agent in endocarditis and it has been used usually with other anti protozoal agents so in uh, babesiosis chloroquine resistance malaria toxoplasmosis and pneumocystis pneumonia in all these conditions clindamycin is used in combination with other antibiotics now uh, adverse drug reactions of clindamycin is very important very important adverse effect is skin rashes clindamycin when it is given through iv route it may cause skin rashes and very very important adverse effect is it causes super infection when clindamycin is when clindamycin is misused in the hospital this clindamycin will cause clostridium difficile infection so in clostridium difficile infection immediately clindamycin should be stopped and we have to start with vancomycin or metrodazole to treat clostridium difficile infection so if clindamycin overuse is seen in the hospital it may cause clostridium difficile skin rashes is one common adverse effect so in clostridium difficile infections metrodazole is the drug of choice or vancomycin also can be used if you see the drug interactions of clindamycin remember clindamycin should be avoided with macrolides to prevent the cross resistance we have already discussed clindamycin structure macrolide structure is very similar and their pharmacological action their mechanism of action is also very similar that's why cross resistance is possible so avoid macrolide antibiotic along with clindamycin and this is one interaction and second interaction is clindamycin will prolong the neuromuscular blocking drugs like succinylcholine and uh, vicronium these drugs activity is increased so clindamycin should be avoided in these two drugs that's it for today thank you for watching our video please if you learned something from our video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and do comment if you have any queries or doubts related to today's topic thank you